Tonight in Noblesville, police are honoring those who answered the call last May when a gunman opened fire inside of a classroom. Our David McAnally tells us tonight who was giving the highest civilian award for his heroism that day. The shooting at Noblesville West Middle School, May 25th. Trauma and test. His extraordinary acts in the face of personal danger and his professional response during the incident are to be commended. Teacher Jason Seaman, who helped disarm the gunman, one of his own 13-year-old students, given the Noblesville Police highest civilian honor <laughs> for his life-saving efforts that day. And I just go back to, you know, the children were in need, so um, that's what I should have done, so that's what I did. Jason Seaman was wounded in the attack, so was student Ella Whistler. Thursday, her parents stood alongside Seaman and the school nurse and school resource officer who worked together to save lives that day. For Seaman and the Whistler family... Every time I get to hang out with them is nice. Um, you know, we have a bond now that will last throughout our lives. Um, we're interchanged now. Um, so we have a connectedness that, you know, can't be damaged. So every time we see them, it's a good thing. Also honored, two of the earliest people on the shooting scene, Officer Michael Steffen and Nurse Megan Schluter. We love where we work, we love the people we work with, and we feel like it's our responsibility as officer and a, um, a school nurse to take care of um, everyone around us. Staff and the police officers who responded to that incident absolutely performed flawlessly. And well. Officer Stefan was in the school that morning. We were, I'm, I feel fortunate to work with Officer Stefan, uh, someone who didn't hesitate um, to go to the scene, and um, you know, as soon as he called the all clear, I was, um, I, Asking her Went to aid him, and um, between the two of us, it, um, like you said, we had a, a good outcome that day. Working as a team to help the victims. I don't do what I do for recognition. I, I'm grateful to have been there. The school nurse said it also helped a lot that the school had stockpiled some of the critical items they needed to treat those early traumas. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. Well, it's great to see those heroes honored again, and this is not the first time Jason Seaman has been honored for what he did last May. You re probably remember he received the Medal of Heroism last November from the Noblesville Kiwanis Sunrisers Club. Later that month, he was given the Indiana Heroes Award at a Pacer game. And in September, he had the honor of throwing out the first pitch at a Chicago Cubs game. Angela?